Hello and welcome to another edition of Thick 64. I'm Darren Hadley and today I am unboxing and installing an SSD inside the GPD Micro PC2. This has an Intel N300 chip with 16 gigabytes of DDR5 4800 MTS and 512 gigabyte M.2 SSD and I think I'm gonna put a 2 terabyte in this because 512 just nowadays just doesn't cut it maybe for this it would but it comes with Windows 11 Pro and I have an image from their website to reinstall Windows and all the drivers and everything onto it. So I guess let's get started. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh wow, this thing is tiny. Wow, that is crazy. Yeah, it's like almost the size of my phone. small and I guess it can flip around and be a tablet nice okay so it only goes one way and here's a little mouse pad and the buttons and then thumb typing Very cool. Looks like it has a headphone jack. Let's see. Yeah. Bluetooth 5.2, Wi Fi 6, um, two USB C, a card, little SD card reader, USB 3.2, HDMI. And I believe that's a 2.5 gig Ethernet. And you have the power button with fingerprint reader and another 3.2. And then a touch screen, 7 inch full HD. And the Intel N300 uh, goes up to 3.8 gigahertz. And the it has uh, integrated GPU, Intel graphics. <clears throat> Manuals and stuff. Nice little accessories like you know, USB-C cable, power adapter, lanyard. Okay, and it's also made with uh, Gorilla Glass. It has 10 point touch control. Oh, my heck, I can't touch. The resolution is 1920 by 1080. Peak brightness is 500 nits. It has an anti fingerprint coating. Pixel density 314 ppi. A refresh rate of 60 hertz. Uh, and 180 degree screen rotation. Yeah, it doesn't say if the network port is 2.5 gig on here. Oh yeah, it is 2.5. And it has HDMI 2.1 and of course the micro SD reader. And the USB 3.2 Gen two type C ports are 10 gigabits per second and they also have display port 4k delivery and fast charging fast charging is always nice they say it's rugged it shows a picture of a hammer bashing 
it. Um, but, you know, I don't think I'd do that. And you can also, it's compatible with Red Hat, Ubuntu, CentOS, I'm sure other distros of Linux. And it has up to eight hours of light use and extreme use up to two hours. So 27.5 watt hours. But it does have the quick charging, so that makes it nice. Okay, anyway, looks like four screw holes. Of course, one's covered with a sticker. That's always fun. But on their website, they have a how-to on how to add storage. So I don't know why they have a sticker there. Okay, I have a two terabyte Western Digital that came out of another uh, computer. I can't remember which one. And my screwdriver. Let's uh, start. Oh, that's quick. Yeah, that thing's tight. There we go. Oh, there it goes. I thought it just popped off easily. Okay, there we go. Looks like they broke one too. Fun. Yep, so if you try this at home, uh, be careful of the clips. Anyway, the rest of this is uh, fairly simple. It's There's the drive. And of course the battery's hooked up clear under everything again. Like the Winmax 2. You know the Western Digital 2 terabyte must have... I bet it came out of the uh, Winmax 2. Yep, because it has some of the residue of this very... I could have just left that on there. All right, two terabytes. Just fine. This is like that. Open it up. And turn it on. And there's the BIOS. Good. Found the Western Digital Digital um, 
It says there's an M.2 SATA slot empty. I did not know that. But it does show the Western Digital and Intel Core i3 and 300 and the 16 gigs of RAM. I'm going to switch boot option 1 to the USB. Save and exit. And there's Bentoy. Ah, there we go. Yep, it was the other option. Win boot instead of normal boot. Let's see here. Or factory firmware. System partition size 300 gigabytes. Format SSD and install, yes. And now it's creating the disk partition. And copying the image files. Applying the image. Anyway, this installed Windows and you get the point and eventually I'll be into Windows and it's cool. Um, I'll probably feature this in another video, maybe do some benchmarks or something. So yeah, I think, I think we're good. I showed you how to break a clip and get an SSD drive in there and that's, that's pretty good for one night. Oh, here we are. So I'll finish setting this up and I'd like to thank all my viewers and subscribers and if you like this sort of thing, please like and subscribe. And if you want to see the next video, click the bell button. And I will see you all in the next one, which happens to be another Alienware benchmark with Battlefield 6. And the, the internal GPU, the 5080, and the Core X V2, Thunderbolt 5 with a 5090. So that's that's coming up after this, I believe. I, I shot a monitor video, but I haven't heard back from uh, sponsors yet. So we'll see. Anyway, uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.